good morning guys happy sunday and welcome back to another vlog so in today's vlog we are going to be doing a sunday reset routine and i'll just be taking you guys throughout my day showing you guys my cleaning laundry cooking and anything else that we get into so right now it is nine in the morning and we are getting ready for church so i thought i would just show you guys how i do my hair i did take down the sew-in that i had and i am dealing from hair loss so i've lost a lot of hair on this side and it's due to like a couple months ago i had I was in high stress situations um, so my hair as I wash it has been shedding so my ends are very thin and I need I haven't I have yet to find a hair salon here so um, I have to either figure out how to do my own hair or try to find a hairstylist or else I will be going to Philadelphia to get my hair done my hair has grown my hair is like really long but the ends are very thin so i will be getting a haircut in a couple of weeks hopefully but in the meantime i will just manage and i blow i washed it and blow dried it last night so you guys see this side it hasn't really lost too much hair it's still pretty long has retained its length it's just been really hard so i wanted to just have that transparent moment with you guys like it's been really hard like taking care of my, my natural hair i do deep conditionings do everything but i didn't realize how stressed i was that i had like clumps of hair coming out at a time so i am going to be giving my i'm going to get a haircut soon to just kind of start fresh as well so let's go ahead and get ready and then i will come back and talk to you guys in a bit I'm done with the defense Throw back and climb over your fence Hide to show, show you that I was a mess So you were shrugging your shoulders I'm closed off, that's what I told you Soon enough, everything started to change Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Not living in the past I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights. Riding on the dizzying heights. Alright you guys, so here is the hairstyle. I just put it, I twisted my hair and put it in a back bun and have it clipped up. So it works. Um, and this is just how I'm going to have my hair for the entire, um, for most part of the week. I think for half the week, we are going on vacation. So I, um, I was going to braid my hair last night. However, I am just, I haven't been feeling too well and I'm just really tired. So I think this look is going to go for vacation as well. I'll be just switching between like different bun styles and that way it also gives me a chance to like have my hair moisturized. Um, and then I think I'm going to be bringing two wigs just in case if I want to switch up my look. But I'm going for a very like minimal chic look on vacation. I'm so excited to take you guys for that. So enough about me talking. Um, oh, yeah. So like I just wanted to quickly say like dealing with hair loss is so hard, especially because I've been natural for a little over 10 years. I've been natural. I went natural when I was um I went natural when I was like 14, 15 years old and I it, it's been some time. So I've been natural and I've always taken care of my hair. Like my hair has, I know how to get my hair to grow really long and my hair has really been like my pride and joy knowing that like I wear hair extensions cause I want to, not because I need to or not because of any insecurity. It's just cause I like to switch up my look but I don't like to dye my hair or process my hair or do anything to that. I like to keep my hair very natural. Um, and my hair is like, I don't, I have like 4B, I have around 4B hair. So my hair can easily get slick if I wanted to. And as you guys saw, I blow dried my hair. I didn't straighten my hair and it got this slick. So I, it's really been hard for me dealing with thinning hair and hair shedding, but it's just hair. It'll grow back. I'll get over it. So let me go finish getting ready for church and then I will see you guys. Hey Mercedes. have any cord in here? Take us to Best Buy. 
I'm sorry. Can you say that again? Still please? so annoying. Take us to Best Buy. I'm sorry, but I can't help you with that right now. Hey, Mercedes. How can I help? Take me to Best Buy. Hey y'all, so we are done with church. It was really good. I'm gonna try to remember to put the link for the below for the church service. Um, if I don't, please somebody comment so that I can do that. But it was a very good service. Um, we're in the book of Judges right now and it, it was just really good. Learning about how worldly culture is not really helpful for us. So yeah. And now we are gonna go run some errands. So see you guys there. All right, you guys, so I'm just doing some cleaning up because this was the week that we were going on vacation. So after church, we rested and I decided to just do a little bit of tidying up just in order to have our place in order since we would be working for Monday and Tuesday and I just did not want to come home and have to deal with cleaning after work. During this time, as I am washing the dishes and just cleaning up, I like to catch up on some YouTube videos. So some of my favorite YouTubers or YouTube videos that have come across my feed, I just like to watch it to keep me kind of just busy or a little bit distracted to make cleaning not be boring or a chore. Alright you guys, so you just saw me wash the dishes and vacuum and now I am in the process of doing laundry and I wanted to show you guys a product that was sent to me for laundry. I was sent this True Earth Laundry Detergent so I'm super excited to try it out. So one strip for one load and I'm going to be using it on, y'all I am so hot. It's literally super hot in this apartment. I put the AC on but it's still really hot and yeah so this was going on and it's been raining outside i think the rain finally stopped so that i can go out and buy groceries but anywho back to what i was saying um th they sent me one strip for one load so i'm gonna try it out on um the laundry that i'm about to put in next because i am going to be washing um all the clothes that we ordered for our vacation so yeah thank thank you true earth for um oh it's 30 
So it's a total of 32 loads. One strip equals one load, but we're gonna open it a little bit later when I show you guys my laundry, but just thought I would uh, mention it to you guys. So I'm gonna let you guys know uh, how I like it. And of course, it looks like it's just one strip. Yeah, this looks really cool. So I'm gonna let you guys know how I like it after I do the laundry, but I thought I would show it to you guys before I forget and just start doing stuff because I tend to do that a lot. But yeah, it is like, y'all see this? I'm just so sweaty and I put the AC on. I think I'm gonna put it to like 60 or something, but now I'm just gonna go fold. I'm gonna go fold some laundry. Ooh. And I need to get groceries, but I don't know if I wanna I don't know if I want to order groceries or if I just want to go into the store and we need to clean our car as well. So I don't know how much of it I'm going to get done today just because I'm tired already. Um, I took a nap after church because I just wasn't feeling too well. So yeah, let's go do laundry and then we'll see how far we get with our reset routine but I'm glad that my kitchen is clean because it's a place that I use all the time so having my kitchen clean and just having my living space clean it's just really helpful so when you walk in the door after work like when you come back from work you walk in the door you just see everything is just clean everything is in its place it makes me feel cozy and comfortable coming back home so let's go ahead and fold some laundry now <laughs> Used to get my head done, used to have my nails long, used to wearing makeup every day. Used to rush Alright guys, so I do recommend the True Earth uh, laundry detergent sheets. So I am going to link it below for you guys if you're interested. But they sent it to me just for me to test it out and my laundry came out very clean and smelling very good. So I recommend it. Give it a 10 out of 10. Thank you, True Earth, for sending me your product to try out. Always used to worry, always in a hurry. Let all of the minutes just fly by. Focus on the wrong things, double tap and scroll and fall asleep while asking myself why. Then the world closed down, stuck inside this town. Home with the family on the reality floor walls and a door. Nothing's like that for you and me and no distractions. So let's just keep it safe. All right, you guys, so we are on our way to the grocery store now uh, to just grab a couple of things that we need for dinner and like breakfast for the next, for the next few days. Uh, so yeah, we don't need too much, but we're heading out there now. So you guys saw me fold laundry and this is the next thing in kind of our Sunday reset routine. So it's really loud now, so see you guys at the grocery store. Thank you, my son. Like the bike? Mm -hmm. That's the kind you like? That's the kind you like, yes, like the
All right, you guys, so we're back from the store and I just wanted to do a quick grocery haul because I know a lot of you guys like to see what we tend to buy. So let me know if you like what you see. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay, and let me put your pen here. All right, So we went to the store and we bought her. Oh my god, I can't stand it. So I got keto, um, these little keto bites. So instead of ice cream, I'm gonna have these, I'm gonna try these out. And then my husband, who doesn't want to help me with my diet, got Hagen Dazs <laughs> delicious. I might eat it too, I don't know. But Well don't don't get me wrong, I'm on diet as well. Put the camera in your face and see it. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> oh my god, he's, he's hiding from y'all. But okay, we got some ice cream. I gotta guess. get my haircut first. Oh my gosh. I got keto bars for snacks for work. Um, since I do, with keto, I do fast. So um, this is just something to break my fast instead of eating a very heavy meal. This one is peanut butter. This is creamy peanut butter chocolate. And then I just got the chocolate dream bar as well. So I'm only going to work for two days this week. So I only got these here. Got Ezekiel bread. I think this is going to be nasty, but. It is nasty. You don't remember? No, it is nasty. <laughs> we got ketchup. It's not keto. But Boy. guess what? But guess who loves Hey, it? hey, hey, hey. Mm -hmm. Don't talk about me. We talk about you. This is for my husband. He loves yogurt. And for his work snacks. I think that's all the unhealthy stuff, right? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, mayo, oh, of course. Uh, cauliflower rice. Broccoli. Uh, potato rolls for someone who's not on keto. At least it's not generic bread. <laughs> Shrimp. Um, bacon. We're making burgers tonight, so ground beef. And guess who got them rolls? I guess they keto, right? What? Mm -hmm. I'm low carb. Mm. Okay, I was craving sushi, so I'm eating sushi tonight as well. So here. Keto sushi, guys. This was a little over $100 just for this little stuff. So mm -hmm. I think we're going to have to find a new grocery store to go to. Mm -hmm. Because these people at Wegman be bugging. Yeah, Wegmans, it has good quality stuff, but it's a little too pricey. So we need to find other affordable grocery stores here. Walmart it um, is. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> oh, I forgot. And then got two onions. Get garlic powder, onion powder. No lemon pepper? No. Who makes lemon pepper burger? Come on. There's no onion powder. It's right behind the garlic powder. So if you are in a relationship, I highly recommend using this time of like dinner prep with your partner. Um, my husband doesn't like to always be in the kitchen with me, but I really appreciate the moments when he is or when he takes initiative on making dinner. It just is really fun and it just gives us a chance to catch up and really just bond. So I truly appreciate these moments. So if you are in a relationship, I highly recommend getting your partner in the kitchen more um, and it's also been helping my husband enhance his cooking skills So the burgers came out really good, but I was not a fan of this Ezekiel bread. I should have just had it without any bread at all. It tasted way better.
the last thing that I did this Sunday was my skincare just before going to bed. I took a shower and I thought I would show you guys a little bit of my skincare. Let me know if you guys want to see an updated skincare routine. I do plan on doing one for you guys if you guys are interested because I have some new products that I have been using and loving and this just really helps to unwind and it's some of my me time and during this time I'm usually listening to music uh, like Christian worship music or I'm watching a YouTube video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Sunday reset routine prepping for the work week and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram as well if you want to keep up with me in real time. Bye guys!